What's up? So it's the third video in my sequence of videos about the big three and my progression in them. And as I stated in my squat and deadlift video, I'm doing them favorite to least favorite. And it's it's funny that I think that, you know, deadlifting is below squatting because I'm better at deadlifting. But I just really enjoy the motion of squatting and I just love squatting and beneficially squatting is just superior. Anyway, so bench press. My progression honestly has not been super impressive over the last few years at all. I, I would say I, I, I was struggling in 2016 to consistently bench 225 per session and you know now I'm you know now I'm pausing on all my sets and you know I can hit you know two plates for seven eight reps easy as a warm-up set and you know I mean I'm struggling on the last couple of reps but I can I can do it pretty easily. So, and that's what I warm up with so and again always and forever don't advocate any of this this is just how I've done it for myself and how I do it anyway so my present one rep max is 280 and all all my benches are with a pause so I'm not gonna say pause but one rep max 280 uh, 2016 probably 235 not with a pause either because I, I only started pausing in 2017, so three years ago. Anyway, 280, uh, one rep max now, and then I can do 265 for a double. Uh, 275 is whatever, but, uh, and then 235 is my usual working weight, and that's so that I can just, you know, I'm, I'm just really working up to getting up to that new one rep max. I hope to hit 295, maybe 300 this year. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, so the dramatic changes in my squat in the last few years, setup. setup. Setup has been absolutely imperative. And not just what I'm thinking in my head and feeling it out and getting ready for the set. I mean, I always did that. But, like, I, I went from simply, you know, flat foot, flat back, you know, just on racking mindlessly and then just going for it. And again, I was only doing touch and go. I wasn't doing pause. So... The first couple of years, I really wasn't getting that much out of my bench, and it, it took me forever. But now, I mean, I, I chose in 2017 to compete, and then I competed in early 2018. And well, 2017, I started practicing pauses and putting my feet way behind me on the bench. And I'll illustrate, but putting my feet way behind me and you know making and just psychologically ensuring that my glutes stay on the bench and you know ensuring that when I get under the bar I'm as tight as possible kind of like squats blah 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 but a whole lot changed about my bench and don't get me wrong the me a few years ago would have been happy about my bench and it's not that I'm not now it's just that I, I don't really care for bench versus the other two I kind of treat bench to the big three like I train, like I treat my arms to the rest of my body when I'm training it. When it comes to isolation, back and legs, amazing, love it. E even delts to a mild degree, but I do not like training arms. Not a fan. I mean, I, I train them, but I'm not a fan of it. I'll, I'll do, you know, I'll train everything. It's it's necessary to have, you know, proportions to the physique to not only, you know, functional functionality, but also to aesthetics. But anyway, yeah, my, my bench has not changed that much, and obviously, as usual, I'll upload, you know, my clips, but, like, I'm glad that I started pausing, because, uh, pausing, when you come down, you have to, when you come down and then you stop, it gets rid of all momentum, and you're relying all on power to push the weight back up, so... I, I know plenty of people that still just do touch and go, which is fine. If you do touch and go, there's no problem with that. I mean, it, it depends on what your goal is, but even in training and if you're powerlifting, you know, touch and go is just fine. I'm never going to do touch and go again. I prefer the difficulty of the pause, but that's just me. I'm always just trying to make things harder on myself, which is why I still pause with my squats. Not every rep, just usually the first rep, but uh, now... Now with my bench, uh, back in 2017 when I first tried pausing, I think I struggled with 205, and at the time 230, no sorry sorry 255 was my best, and I'm just like, whoa, I can't believe this. This is crazy. I feel like a newbie all over again, 
and then I beat it into myself for two months getting you know I, I even had someone giving me the the verbal cues you know on rack lower pause push up re-rack you know just like they would on the platform and I could not believe it it I, I mean I was able to get myself up to 245 before the actual meet so I, I thought it was pretty decent and impressive but yeah now uh, I'm I am beyond where I was then I wouldn't say light years but yeah we'll, we'll see if I can get it to that 295 300 new one rep max that would be awesome but again I'm not a super duper fan of bench but you know most meets all three are present so you got to do it but I do appreciate what bench has done for the growth in my chest even though I don't think that my chest is very prominent or impressive in the first place but I do appreciate what it has done for me in terms of volume and a good pump because it is critical to build the chest in general. A lot of people think it's not, but it really is. But anyway, yeah, as far as power goes, it's not that I don't enjoy a big bench, but eh, I, I just I just prefer to, you know, be deadlifting or squatting, but that's just me. But yep, that's been my progression in the bench for the last couple of years, and most people in general would say that I'm, in, I'm strong on bench, you know, for my size, obviously because I'm really not strong at bench at all. But most people would say that in general, I'm pretty strong for my size in bench. And obviously with my dysmorphia, I, I'm just thinking, you know, you're, you're lying to me, you know, you're just being nice, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe one day I'll be putting up, you know, a decent weight, like some of the bigger guys in the gym. But until then, we'll, we'll figure it out. But thanks, guys.